your skin. However, you feel as though that your bag is a bag is covering your head, as if somebody is pushing you along with a spear to your back along some kind of rocky trail. As you feel the mud sort of slippery beneath your boots or sandals or whatever it is you're wearing. You eventually come to a stop, and the men speaking in common put you down onto your knees as they remove the bags from your head. And the only thing you can see as your eyes adjust to the darkness is a pair of glowing golden eyes set above and about six feet above your head. The tall man reveals a long katana from his side as he unsheaths it with grace and poise, and he runs it up your cheek and lifts up your blindfold. You try and recall how you got to this position, and you remember not too long previously, you all came into contact with a magical crystal that you couldn't quite place how you uh, know it's magical, but you can feel the pulsating energy from within it. And you kept on, you kept on to it because you knew it was something important, probably. However, you have a suspicion that this same crystal is probably what led to you being, uh, let's just say, swept away in some sort of a magical teleportation to what now appears to be the dock of it, or the um, the hull of a ship. So each of you place your characters within this ship, please. On the right. Just anywhere, because I don't see anything. It's just a black square. To the right side of the map. I think we can just throw it on the board, and he can move it. Good, where I am? I don't see you. You don't see me? Oh, there you are. You're in the ocean. <laughs> um, <laughs> and then I, need, I, need, I need Hodges yeah. to uh, be dropped yeah. in as well. <laughs> to the right side. <laughs> so I'm just you. here. You never know. It's not working. Are okay. you dropping from your character sheet? Ah, uh, just did you add a character to your character sheet? Or a token? Where would I see that? Hold on. I'm going to make you a new one, and then we're going to add it real quick. It, may, it might have gotten deleted somehow. Uh, oh, there's a bed? Hell yeah. Relax. In the bed. Oh, wait, never mind. Never mind. Treasure. I'm a thief. I'm going to stand next to the treasure. Right, and I... Excitedly. Yeah, I'm sure that's where they put the treasure. <laughs> it's underneath the mattress, dog. I don't care okay. about this like hex circle and a dead person. No, no. It's all about the treasure. I just do you see in your notebook now that there's a token? Where should I be looking? A third tab that says journal. Click it. Go to your character, Hodges. Should be in there. I don't see a journal. What? Yes, you do. No. It's the second tab. Oh, is it the second tab? Yeah, it's different. The DM has like this picture tab, which is the. Yeah, I have an art tab. library tab. So you're going to talk in your accent for meta conversations? Maybe. <laughs> I'm gonna Wait, how to just, just, you just, you just tell me if you see it in the journal tab. Just show me where it is. I did. It's in the go to the journal, and then it says Hodges. There's a little tab that says Hodges. Wait, your your character's name is Hodges. Aren't you with Tim? Yeah, we're together. We're dating. Okay, and in that journal, Hodges, do you see your character token? No, it's not in here. Why isn't it in there? Mine's not in here, but mine still works. Um, I forgot where we saw that though. In, uh... Can you open up the window? Yeah. It, or close this window. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. Controlled by me and Hodges. Ryan, can you close uh, the window that you're 
working in. Back to the main page, Hodges. Where? Where you would see the just... map. The black square, just like Close the normal your stuff. character sheet. Oh, not your he, screen. he only streamed that that window, not his screen. Okay, second tab. It's right there. From Drag there. that onto the. There Boom. you go. That's all you have to do. Alright, get rid of the, the token above Tim, or Powell. Parks. Holy. Hold on. Okay, so Hodge just managed to get his token out? Yes. Yeah. Okay. It doesn't look like it's snapping the grid, though. Here. You land here. He's snapping the grid. Okay. Nice. And, yeah, that work lands on the bed with a uh, homeboy. And guys, I can see through the crack in the Wait. door. How are you moving us to not be within the square? Because every time I move it, you hold alt. Alt. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, you all seem to be swept away from whatever business you were doing just before landing in this strange foreign place that you found yourself in. It looks to be well. If you have been on one before, some of you probably, the hull of a ship. You can tell from the rocking of the waves, and you hear a storm brewing outside of the windows. It's lit by two torches, which illuminate the uh, sort of grisly surroundings that you find yourself into. Underneath uh, our barbarian friend here, actually, as he lands with a soft squish underneath of him into a pool of blood and entrails lying along the floor, uh, you find some sort of strange uh, crystal star pentagram, like a uh, inscription that is sort of made out of a red type of liquid built or uh, sort of painted on the floor. The elven rogue falls upon a barrel, crashing it beneath her, and she rolls onto the ground. And the two, uh, the unlikely pair of the orc and the human uh, samurai paladin, crash along the bed, bring it abruptly to the ground as the floors fall or the legs fall out from underneath of it. You all look bewildered as you look around, unsure of what to make of this situation. Uh, what do you do? I was in the uh, middle of coming, so. Yeah, what were you in the middle of doing, by the way? Coming. What okay. the shit is this blood? <laughs> Have we been kidnapped? Are we naked? You're not naked. You have all of your belongings in your person. <laughs> your, your, your dick can be hanging out though. We have to get out of here. Your, your hard orc dick, uh, you, you feel underneath of your body, the old man, you know, it feels as though something has ruptured into your back. As your, uh, you Why know, is his dick so, so I, massive? I look, <laughs> I look down and I'm kind of straddling this old man. And I look down into Excuse his me, eyes. Sir? <laughs> oh, disgusting. And <laughs> climb out of bed. I don't like being here. <laughs> Please tell me. Um, it wasn't do you have, do, yeah, does do anybody have, have any words? You do not have amnesia. You know exactly what you're doing okay. right before this, and it feels as though sort of like you were sucked through like a vacuum really quickly, and you all sort of just appeared into this position, in this room. Yes, it's a very familiar feeling, I've experienced before. <laughs> oh, P.S. The uh, the images that you saw earlier of the golden-eyed man running a blade across your face, wondering what to do with you, that's clearly uh, for the future. This is before that moment, if it wasn't clear. Oh, okay. <laughs> Why is the Earth moving? Oh, oh yes, your character boat. may have never actually been on a boat before. This is unlike any earthquake I've ever felt. I'm just quietly hiding in the corner. Okay. Who are Alan, you? Alan, what is your character making out of the situation? I'm, I'm just being calm here, just trying to figure out what's going on silently. Okay. What are you talking about? This blind, deaf old man doesn't know I'm here. I'm too sneaky. No, I'm, That's what I'm, doing. I'm sitting on the edge of the bed, kind of gripping it. Okay. Is this the door that I am next to? That would be a door. <laughs> DM confirms that is, in fact, a door. <laughs> I, sh I struggle to to attempt to open the door. 
Okay. Um, make me an athletics check. Cool. <laughs> okay, are you put? Are you pushing or pulling? <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right, you, you just. <laughs> The door was locked, however, it easily flies off the hinges and crashes against the back wall. Or should I say, there's sort of a column in the middle of this room that you found yourself in. Oh, right here? You see a few dead bodies, uh, not unlike the one you landed on previously, lying about the floor. They all look to be of a sort of like sailor variety, and this appears to be sort of like your living quarters or a dining type of area. You see two men in this room who look up at you. Their faces are sort of masked with blood and uh, paint to sort of hide their identity, and they pull out their swords, eager for more blood as they ch look you down. We can begin our first combat. Everybody roll initiative. Damn, son. Fast as fuck. Oops, I went to GM. Oh, wow, I had a lot of lag when I clicked that. Let's get some music on. But no, you wanted oh. to send the results of this roll to the turn tracker, but no valid token was selected. So... What? Okay, so I have to position, and then... Roll initiative. Is that how that works? Oh my god. Wait. Damn, you so... slow. 2018, 13. Wait, what did you? Why'd you roll twice? So uh, Brian has that's athletics. And I got an error message. Okay. I went to GM, but automated system for keeping track of initiative. How do you roll to to GM? You just click initiative. I had on my sheet the two GM, GM button yeah. selected. Oh, got it. But I, I rolled a seven. Point one one, so. Okay. Big dumb well, sorcerer over here. Our boys are actually one of them is gonna go Tim first. Tora? Is Tim Tora? Yes. Yeah, yeah. What'd you say? Okay, I didn't know that. Um, Hodges. Zurui. This this first one, uh, unsheaths his uh, sidearm. It appears to be a uh, Wakazashi in his hand as he lunges towards you as he. Dashes towards you with his uh, sword, sort of like coming for a piercing strike up your abdomen. Let's see if he hits. Ooh, you uh, narrow, you easily knock the blade from his, uh, you know, from stabbing you in the abdomen as he loses his balance and sort of like falls a, a knee to the ground. The second one looks ready to defend his compatriot. However, before he can get the upper hand, it is now your turn. Hodges, it's your turn. I, I... <laughs> Did he move into my reach? Oh yeah, he's right here. Uh, I suppose... Um, he just moved that dead body, what the turn. fuck? Yeah, it might be. Uh, hold on. Okay. Yeah, he moves into your reach. Oops. What I will that? strike him. Okay. So I guess he would have been here then, right? Because like you get to hit him as soon as he enters your reach. Correct. Yeah, we meant um, to figure out exactly uh, how we're doing the squares for that. Yeah, that's fine. Brian has two squares in every direction from him. What about diagonals? Yep. Should I roll for when he moves into my range? Yeah, you're gonna hit him. Yeah, you'd take a reaction and then attack. That is the initial roll. That's uh, with adding modifiers and stuff too? Correct. Okay, uh, you slam down the Naginata into one of the floor planks. It crunches beneath it and uh, sort of splinters. He jumps over it and uh, goes for the lunge towards your abdomen, but you knock it with your free hand to the side and he loses his balance. The second one gets up ready to uh, sort of continue the assault upon you. However, before he can, it is, um... oh, I guess, uh, Tim, you were supposed to actually go first. So go ahead and go now. I mean, I kind of thought that, but okay. Um, 
How, so I have a 35 movement. How far does that translate to in these squares? Every square is five feet. Oh, okay. Diagonal too, right? Yes. Is he blocking the door? Because he's so, coming in the doorway. Are we just doing five for every diagonal? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm not doing the Pathfinder thing. <clears throat> is Ryan blocking the doorway? Because he's kind of a fat it's, fuck. It's non-Euclidean. Um, yeah. Ryan is blocking the doorway, but you can squeeze past him. <laughs> It'll take an additional five feet of movement, though, as you try to squeeze past him, though. He can also try and stop you if he wants, I suppose, with his reaction from moving past him. But... Hmm. You can always I'm going to attempt to move past him. Yeah, you can make an acrobatics check to kind of like try and slide under his legs or something. <laughs> I'll do that if he attempts to stop me. <laughs> okay. Well, you slide underneath his legs <laughs> and you make it to the other side of the doorway. You see two uh, two uh, assailants in front of you, one to your right and one directly in front of you, sort of with half cover behind some barrels looking over his shoulder. Hmm. You have 10 more feet of movement. So are they actually blind to the room until they walk up? Yep. Yeah, I can I can see the guy to your above you, Hodges, but I can't see the other guy. Yeah, that's really neat. That needs to be some communication. We're not fully uh, accustomed to each other yet. We're not like communicating I, I what know. we see. Hmm. What would you like to do? Speak the language to begin with. Oh, so I can actually attack from here because it's only 10 away, right? So I could swing the uh, Kasari Gama chain, the, the bludgeoning side, right? Yes, you could. And so I'm going to attack, attempt to attack the guy on the right. Okay. Or at the top. Go ahead and make your roll. Okay, 25. Uh, yes, you easily hit him as you sort of, even in this confined space, get your bearing. You roll out your Kasari Gamba and you whip it around in your left hand and loose it directly at his head. It knocks him square in the forehead and sort of just blood splatters from his nose across uh, the already bloody Vladislav in front of you. Um, how much damage are you doing? Eight? Uh, yeah, you, you broke his nose pretty bad. And one of his eyes appears to also be sort of bulging a little bit as he probably cracked the socket too. Okay, um, so, do you have anything else you would like to do with your turn? Mm, I will step back into this corner and see what's up there. Oh, it's the stairs, okay. Yep, it's the stairs. Okay, you stand in the corner. Okay, after their turn, or after uh, Tim's turn, it is Vladislav, and then... It's the other guy's turn. So this guy, he's going to pull out a knife from his uh, sort of waistband. And he looks at you, Tim, and he goes and tries to throw it at you. Wait, who? This guy? Yep. Okay. As a kunai comes flying through the air towards your direction, it is... <laughs> Not going to hit you. As it flies and... It's right into the plank of wood behind you, into the wall, um, easily missing its target. He sort of like, you know, ugh, and he sort of leaps back and tries to run down this hall. <laughs> Zoop, go after, after his turn, it is going to be Ray Shuttlesworth, Alan. Okay. All right, I'll move forward. One. I'll try to squeeze past Hodges here, or uh, Vladislav. Mm. Ah! That's what, what? you hear. <laughs> <laughs> How... <laughs> Why? You can't stand the same space as him. I I know that ending here, but I'm yelling heartily. What what a stupid question. <laughs> So, so moving into this guy's range, he doesn't get an attack, right? That's it's a moving, feat. moving out of it. Like if I if I moved here. That's fine. Okay. All right. I will... Oh, this guy's also right here, by the way. Oh, what? 
Yeah, okay. he came I'll up just... and he meleeed Vladislav. I'll just, I'm gonna assume that um, you chose to turn on your rage, right? No. You did not. No, I'm just naturally that mad. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so what, what, what would you like to do then, Alan? Um, I would like to attack him with the katana, and that'll be dual wielding it, or not dual wielding, uh, two handing. You're using a katana. Yeah. Okay. Uh, make your attack. Oops. Uh. Twenty. Well, we're you gotta. Is that that's not a natural twenty though, right? No. Okay. Yep. You hit him, and you slice through him like completely in half, actually. Uh, so as you bring the weight down upon his shoulder, it just slices down into his abdomen. And as you pull the blade out, you sort of, with the pulling motion of your blade, you see sort of intestines falling out too. Between his bloodied face and the intestines outside, he sort of looks down and falls and leans directly against the abdomen of Vladislav as he slides down and gets him even more sort of a gruesomely bloody. So, so I, I do have a question. So I just don't even roll for damage there? It was enough to kill him. And he didn't roll for damage though. What do you mean? If your minimum damage kills, it's his a minimum damage would kill. Roll. Oh. Oh, because I have a guaranteed plus two. I'm confused. You would have rolled at least one, and then plus two, which is three. He had three life left. Okay, I just said no. That that worked. Yeah. Okay. Um. So that was five, fifteen, twenty. I'll move into the center of the room. Okay. It's my turn. Yep. It's uh, your turn. Okay. How? I've been sitting here kind of working into a battle trance, taking in the situation, trying to get my bearings, because I'm feeling a bit at unease here. And uh, yeah, Everybody sort of worked up into it real quickly somehow. Yeah. I'm having some difficulty, but I get on my feet and start sprinting. So I would like to make... Uh, I, I would like to barrel through this door. <laughs> that Ryan's in front of? Yeah, I'm going to try and squeeze past him. Okay. Uh, sure. Can I make some okay. kind of check as to not be inhibited? Make athletics check versus Ryan's athletics. Okay. <laughs> Ryan? <laughs> you run? And right, as you so hit, I get, I get you hit caught the up. You get hit the large man and you sort of lose your momentum a bit and he sort of steps aside without getting barreled over and he retains his posture and you sort of like start like tripping a little bit but regain your footing. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, you're, you're... <laughs> okay. It was not nearly as like, cool or graceful as you wanted it to be. No, it was not. I do kind of a spin as I recover from the impact <laughs> and I continue sprinting. Yeah, in fact, forward. you almost flail wildly and hit the old man in the head as you run past. <laughs> Ouch. So tell me when I'm at, uh, 30. Wait, fine. Oh, uh, that's fine, right there. Okay. What would you like to do? I would like to take the dash action. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, and as I'm in my sprint, I've drawn out my Kanabo. Okay. And I'm trying to gain on this guy who was running away. Okay, uh, he has three quarters cover, so you can make an attack against him if you want. That's gonna be I, minus four. That's, I was actually gonna ask that. Dash action. Was oh, okay, right. You can't attack actually. That's right. right. Okay. 
Yeah, but he, he should you be see in range him, for me to hit. Yeah, you see him, like, he's, like, right here as you get there, and he sort of, like, ducks behind this corner. Okay. Yeah, uh, does he he's... move out of my reach? Because I'm basically trying uh, to... He's right there. Okay. That's where he was. It's, like, on that corner right there. Okay. Okay. Um, After that, I think it resets combat, right? We're it back goes, to the top? Yeah, back to the top. Okay. As this happens... Uh you hear a banging sound as this door opens up before you, and you see an assailant run out with a uh, sort of club in the air about to swing down upon you. Um, let's see. Make me a perception check to see if you're surprised by this. Okay. So the assailant surprises you as he lets out a war cry and brings not a Kanaba, but a sort of like a smaller version of what you have, you know, like a blackjack almost, down upon your forehead, or he's going to try to at least. <laughs> These uh, bandits are not very good at banditing. As he, <laughs> he slams it down and it just hits your Kanaba and he like, you push it into the wall, he completely misses and he sort of shoves it into you a little bit. And looks up at you and sort of a sort of Susan, he's pissing his pants in the voice. Oh, where, where did you guys even come from? Um, he sort of a, you know retreats back against the wall, looking at you and starting to stare you down. The other bandit who starts this whole thing peeks around the cupboard, and you now see that he has a bow drawn as he's going to try to shoot almost point blank range directly down the hall into your torso. Ooh, critical miss. <laughs> so as this is happening, he also gets surprised by the bandit running, his bandit friend running out from the room over here, then shoots him in the back as he misses. Uh, the bandit lets out a cry of pain as his uh, comrade shoots him between the shoulder blades, and he looks uh, kind of like a, ooh, <laughs> sorry, you know? But uh, we're back to Vladislav with that. With the most incompetent band of bandits that they're ever banded to do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's see. I get 30 feet. I have to shit, so I'll be back. Just continue. Okay. So if I dash, I double movement and I can't, uh, I can't attack. Dashing right? counts as an action, yeah. You can move six squares at 30. Okay, I'll stop here. And you did do a dash? You can still, you can still hit that guy, right? No, he dashed. Six, seven, eight. Dash. Oh, yeah. yeah. Wait, why is... Once again, why are we doing Vladislav? It should be Tim's turn. Oh, right. Sorry, right. Vladislav. <laughs> 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 yeah, you gotta speak up. I, you know, like... I actually forgot this time. Out of the group. Remember, remember your turn order. <laughs> okay. I um, don't know the enemies, but, but yeah. I so as, let's see, I can dash as my bonus action, right? Yep, because you're a rogue. All right, so I, I will, I, do, I don't have to roll for that, right? No, it's just a bonus action, so you can't use another bonus action. Perhaps we don't have to kill them. Five. They don't, they don't seem experienced. <laughs> they don't uh, seem like murderers. Wait, one, two... Well, Eight, you do four, see three five. dead bodies around, or four dead bodies around your person. That's very experienced, though. <laughs> right, so that's, call. that's the, the end of my dash. Okay, you can hold alt to put yourself in the middle of there if you want. Yeah, I did. Okay, now and what then... would you like to do? Hmm, I'll move one more. God, the alt thing is super annoying, actually, because it keeps hitting alt on my browser. Um, so I should now be in range that I can attempt to bludgeon the closest one. Yep. Um, he's in a doorway, so he's going to have uh, half cover. 
So just make a uh, minus two to your attack roll. How do I do that? Slash R R one or slash R one D twenty or whatever your thing is, my, and then we just subtract two. We can already just see what you roll and subtract two. Just use just do minus two, so nineteen. Okay. Wait, you just wrote that? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes, yeah, so you hit. Okay, so this hits uh, the guy who was already shot in the back with an arrow directly in the gut, and uh, he sort of spews up just like bloody chunks of you know lung and whatnot that he's been coughing up as uh, his lungs been punctured by the arrow behind him, and he kneels against the door frame, sort of just like bleeding out of the mouth and sort of coughing up blood, uh, completely incapacitated but not quite dead. He seems kind of out of commission now. So is he considered unconscious? He's not unconscious. He's just like, he's got like one HP. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, Tim should get the sneak. I don't know if he added it. Um. As I'm standing next to him. Okay, yeah, Tim, actually you do kill him. <laughs> oh, okay. You rock. You like rupture his spleen and he goes into total total organ failure. <laughs> oh boy, he, an extra eleven sneak damage. Got him. Yeah, he he pukes a vial and blood as uh, he falls over in the doorway, sort of twitching unconsciously. Can I dash and then tackle? Uh, you can yeah, make you a can leap. You can attempt to mac knock someone prone. It's considered an attack. If you want to like. If you want to dash, and then, well, you would run and then use your action to leap. But he doesn't. He he can't get far enough, right? Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. If Ryan can leap twenty feet in one direction, he can maybe tackle that guy. <laughs> As an athlete. Uh... Okay. Wait. What are the leaping rules? <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. I don't think I'm leaping 20 feet. <laughs> Hold on, that long jump. That seems a bit much. It's pretty typical. When you take a long jump, you schooler. can cover a number of feet up to your strength score. If you move at least 10 feet on foot immediately before the jump, when you make a standing long jump, you can leap half the distance. Either way, each... Wait, no, Ryan, you can leap 20 feet with with 20 strength. You can leap a number of feet equal to your strength score. Yes, but is that like leap and land well or just leap? If I'm trying to get distance, um, I'll let you make an athletics check to see if you can. Oh, but there's there's a, a ceiling in this ship, so he can't jump that high. Yeah, he's making a Pretty leap. True. It's like a dive. He's diving. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. yeah, usually, you don't get enough air to to. If you're doing a dive, you don't stay in the <laughs> air as long. You're not going to get as far. Do it, all right. I'm Ryan, <laughs> right. uh, make your athletics check to see if you leap. We're gonna say it's a 14 DC. Isn't that guy dead? Yeah, this guy's dead. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, actually, I might have something. Wait, one sec. Let me check if I don't have. Oh, okay. That's only on. Uh, yeah, that's only if I'm rage. So I'm just gonna run the athletics. Oof. I got a 14. That's why I said you should get. But because it's five additional feet, you leap to about here, and uh, you fall flat on your face as your head hits the door frame. <laughs> Ah! You take. Hold on. <laughs> Land on that guy's body. You take four bludgeoning damage as you uh, sort of give yourself a, a headache. In fact, you probably spit out a tooth. <laughs> this is normal. <laughs> <laughs> All right. After Vladislav's turn, it's the guy who's right next to you, Vladislav. He sees this pathetic leaping faceplant that he sees. He says, guys are fucking crazy. <laughs> and he sort of, you know, pulls out his uh, wakizashi and he sort of starts to stab it down on the base of your neck. Uh, you are now prone, so he has advantage against you because of your leap. Got him. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, he actually at this time. For the first time ever, boys. Hodges. He does seven damage to you as the Wakazashi digs between your shoulder blades. He misses your neck, uh, but you feel the sort of stinging pain as cold steel inches your... 
Um, after that rogue's turn, it is, I think, our orc's turn, right? No, Alan's turn. Should be mine. Yeah. Which guy oh, attacked him? Is the one standing right next to him? Okay. Yeah. Is there still a token back? underneath Ryan? Uh, yeah, he's, there's a body. Yeah. Okay. He's dead. I'll be right back, but remember, you have advantage on both of them if you're using a melee attack right now. That's only if you're, if you're raging. Oh shit, never mind. That is true. I'll move my... My guy. My guy? My guy. 30. There is a DM, he used to say, my guys, my guys go. My guy. And this one player got so pissed. <laughs> And, and I call out to Vladislav, who's not here at the moment, if he sees anybody else around these corners. Vladislav oh. calls back to you and says he doesn't see anybody to the right in the doorway. And he can't see anybody else but and to his left. However, uh, he, can, he can't see this area. He can't? No. He's partially in the doorway. He does so, see this guy. There, but there's no one in the room? There's nobody in here, no. Or, and there's okay. only one person here, which is this guy. Okay. Um, I would like to, to cast a sleep spell, starting with the guy um, that just attacked Hodges. Okay. Um, I'm going to tell you right now, you can put them both to sleep if you use it. So you don't, you don't actually have to roll. It's going to be enough. They don't have a lot of HP. Okay. All right. So, uh... Wait, them, them both? How's he hit two? It's, it's, it's like a hit. hit. I don't remember if uh, hit points. Okay, well, actually, go ahead and roll, because it actually might not get both. It'll definitely get the guy on the right, though, because he's been hit already. Because it's what? 8d6 or something crazy like that? Alright. Uh, yeah. I sent you the roll. You sent me the roll. Let's see. On an accident, but it Okay, yeah. You actually definitely... get both of them, but just barely. Um, but yeah, they both sort of like sort of look drowsy as you your incantation comes out of your mouth and sort of a purple sort of you can see the words themselves leaving your mouth as a sort of fine dust glitters over their heads as they sort of drowsily drift off to sleep and hit each other on the head and slide down this pole that they're sitting next to lying unconsciously upon the ground now. Um. I guess the, the question now is, if they're asleep, I don't have any more movement, but if that ends combat, I'd want to tie them up with my rope. Yeah. It, there, it there's there's a third one over here. Oh. In there? Yeah, I was not really done. Okay, then take your turns. Wait, but he only put two to sleep, right? And there's a third? There's a we third. don't he puts, know. He puts these two to sleep for certain. Todd, Todd's character said there's nobody to the right, and he should be able to see all of it. No, he said there's nobody to the left, and there's nobody in the room. Sorry, the, bo the bottom. And now, and now you can see there's nobody over here, correct? I can't see anything. I can't see that quite yet. I raise my Kanabo, and I'm about to swing it on them as they just slump in front of me. Okay. Kind of you, slam into, you slam into this pole. <laughs> I don't attack. Okay. Um, and I step over the body, and I see nothing, and then I turn quickly back, and I attempt to open this door. Uh, it is unlocked. And All right, me... I open. Yep. Okay. And then I turn back into the hall and say, I okay. see no one. Hmm. Um, Line these two up. And I'm going to stand right here. And I'm going to uh, sheathe myself in a, a stone like skin. Okay. Uh, who was going to use their rope to tie these guys up? I w I'll use my rope. Okay. 
Uh, you begin tying these two up to the what, to the pole right here, I assume. Yeah, they call them the pole. Okay, you tie them up to the pole. We'll wait for Ryan to come back before we go on, though. I'm gonna heat up a piece of pizza in the meantime. Okay. Well, let me heat up a piece of food real quick. I'm gonna heat up a coffeeist. You guys can give up your uh. You guys can 